Top of the morning, YouTube world is coffee. Back with it, man. We got a lot of news to get in. Hit them motherfucking buttons. Let's get it, man. And leading things off uh, as I bring y'all this quick intro. You guys see this road rage footage in New York, man. Like originally when I seen this, I'm like, is this some stunt drivers or like some ish for a movie? And they're flucking around the way they kept spinning out or whatever but i'm like nah this is just for real for real man and um you know i didn't include the audio but when you see dude jump out he's banging on the window he's got the strap and uh my fuckers were shook and rightfully so you know like this uh road rage is just, just crazy man like be careful out there everyone comment and let me know if y'all ever ran into a situation like this i had a. Uh, I had a close call one time, man, but I just talked logic. Like, I remained super calm. I should have popped the fuck off on dude, but I just, uh, he, was, he wasn't he was really like that, you know? But I just remained calm and talked logic to this guy. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? But for real, y'all, be careful. But getting into some breaking news, some breaking hip-hop news, guys. Um, all the battle rap fans out there. I don't know if y'all have all heard uh, a Canadian battle rapper was murdered out in his uh, I don't know exactly if it was his hometown, but his home province. You know, he is said to be a native of Nova Scotia and he was uh, killed in Halifax, I guess, out by the waterfront, which Halifax is in Nova Scotia. I just don't know if that's like the exact town he was from. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I'm not really familiar with this guy, Pat State comment and let me know if y'all uh flucked with them or not and <clears throat> you know where if if you really are into the battle rap world where he ranked you know uh to you guys and like let me know some of his uh biggest battles he was in and whatnot but uh, i guess he was out halifax uh out by the waterfront sounds like in the bar district and um I guess police got a call of, you know, someone being injured or whatever. And they found this guy stabbed up, rushed him over to the hospital, but he passed away. And, uh, man, it's just crazy. Again, I'm not totally familiar with this dude, but it's uh, breaking everywhere. You know, all the all the battle rap fans are just like honoring him and just kind of shook up by all this um i guess dude just had dropped a diss at the game when the game did the black slim shady uh this and his last ig post like on his story was him at a wedding can y'all believe that man that's the way life can go i guess he was at a wedding uh two people like he introduced played matchmaker or whatever they ended up hitting it off and uh apparently getting married and he goes <clears throat> he goes to the wedding and uh maybe they all went out after i don't know but ended up killed like that's just nuts man moving along another quick viral video here guys uh this uh gentleman put his life on the line as y'all see you know what i mean like tussled with a bear and lived to tell about it and not like just any bear a bear in the wild pulling a home invasion on him and you know the you see the caption is like dude wrestle with a bear to save his puppies that's uh that takes some heart right there hats off to this guy you know do you guys ever wonder real talk man what you would do in uh, uh situations like that where something just insane like this pops off and um you know what i'm saying i know everyone would be like yo fuck that man i'm i'm not I'm not going out like no chump. I mean, I get it. I, no one wants to. I'm just saying, do you guys ever worry that it, like just a ferocious bear appears and you want to handle your business, but you're just frozen fear? Like, I, I'm, I'm, I'm being honest with y'all. I'm not saying that always goes through my head, but uh, I don't know. You can't think about ish like that, right? Like, um, I mean, I've been in a crazy situation, not against a bear or a wild animal, but... I, I faced a situation once where like my life could have been on the line and there were some other people who, you know, were in danger, you know, that were there as well. And I, I helped um, everyone out, did what I had to do. But I don't know, just seeing this like video of this guy just like shouldering the bear and just he threw the park bench or whatever the fuck you call it in a way and got up out of there. I'm like, man, you know, 
I've, I've been in a situation, you know, when it comes to fight or flight and I, and I was like, yo, fight. But just seeing that, I'm like, man, that's, I don't know. That's terrifying just to see. This is some pretty interesting news, man, for all the gamers out there. I don't know if you guys saw this, that uh, Lil Dirk is about to drop uh, a GTA update or have his own server. I don't know the exact correct terminology. You know what I mean? I need to get back into my gaming. Like I've been telling y'all, I want to do some gaming content and I'm really about that. You know what I mean? But I just been wild busy. I'm sure those that tap into the platform on the regular can tell coffee just ain't been my usual self on here as far as my work ethic just a lot of ish going on but uh anyways i don't know if it's an update or a server or whatever but it's gonna be o block they're gonna have the king von mural and everything um like i guess it's supposed to really look like the neighborhood and um i don't know i just thought this was rather interesting rather cool i guess he has his own like otf gaming team and everything so i don't know pretty cool let me know if y'all are gonna fluck with this or you are already up on this or whatever it's kind of wild too with all the rico ish weren't they talking about like an old block rico i mean they can't use the game as evidence right <laughs> you feel me like they're using uh lyrics and everything social media is is evidence they'd be like yo the ish that was in the game that 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 was uh reenacting this or that that'd be fucking crazy who knows we done seen it all the faa and police in mississippi are trying to figure out what to do about a pilot who police say is threatening to crash into a walmart there officials have evacuated the store as well as another business nearby you know, police say that the plane started circling around 5 a.m and was still in the air more than three hours later it appears to be a single engine plane, again, still in the air right now. This is video that just came into our newsroom. Officers say that they've made contact with the pilot. All right, guys, I don't know if you saw this, but this was absolutely insane, man. I saw a little clip going viral the other day of a guy stealing a plane, right? I guess he he worked in the airport like he flashed his ID to get past a certain area where apparently he had clearance to get past and um you'll see he puts up different pictures like at this airport he's got a picture with um magic johnson um he's got another picture where he's off in the distance and it's trump getting off a plane like you can see the caption he's like yo uh this time around they wouldn't let us get close or whatever secret service told us we had to fall back but point is he's been working at the airport for for a while I guess he gasses up the planes, probably cleans them ish like that. You know, um, I don't know the exact name for that job. But anyways, just a few days ago, um, this guy, Corey Peterson, Tupelo, Mississippi, decided to hop in the plane and was flying that itch around first thing in the morning, like dumb early. And apparently he's going in a circle uh, above a Walmart. And I guess he's on the jack calling people, posting on social media and uh, he put out the word that he was going to fly into the Walmart and um, like hurt people, I guess. I don't know, like uh, an SU eyed mission. Y'all feel what I'm saying? You got to be y'all know you got to watch what you say on this bitch. But um, I guess they had another pilot make contact with him and everyone was trying to talk him down and um he ended up telling them he was going to surrender. And it's crazy, too. When I first saw this and I did see him flying around like that, I'm like, damn, because uh, where it was he was up there for like four hours. Right. But I'm like, what, man, what, like, couldn't they run out of uh, fuel? But that's after that. I heard like, oh, yeah, he works there. So he made sure that thing was extra full. But he must have decided like, man, what the fuck was I doing? This is a dumb idea because. He, he does, um, you know, say, OK, I'm going to turn myself in or whatever. But then he dipped out and flew a little bit away from where he was telling him he was going to land and landed off in a field. They were still able to get at him. He threw up a post, um, you know, right before he landed, halfway crash landed. They said he didn't he didn't hit the landing very gracefully. But he said, uh, uh, what do you say? Sorry, everyone never actually wanted to hurt anyone i love my parents and my sister this isn't your fault goodbye so then when they saw that they got worried too when he said goodbye like he was gonna end it all but you see him talking about i never wanted to hurt anyone well like yo why were you threatening to 
crash into the Walmart. What the fuck is wrong with you? You know what I mean? They they evacuated the Walmart and everywhere else. But this is just uh, nuts. I see. I remember seeing something like this a few years back where a guy hopped in a plane and Joy rode uh, the plane for a while. Like apparently this guy was going through something, but um, this wasn't a very good uh, this wasn't a very good plan. He got hit with grand larceny, terroristic threats, and the feds are, are picking it up. I guess, you know, airport automatically federal. Y'all know that, right? You could, you could slap someone in an airport and catch fed beef, like real talk. But what do you guys think about this, man? Did you see this? Like dude just up there flying around causing mayhem because he uh, was having some kind of breakdown or something. I don't know. All right, next up, guys, I just wanted to give a quick update uh, regarding Mace real quick, man. If, if you guys caught the videos that I have been doing since Mace popped back up on the scene, as everyone, you know, I'm sure recalls the whole Fabio Foreign situation with the $5,000 deal. And, you know, Mace just more or less taking advantage of Fabio Foreign. And, you know, everyone's like, man, how are you going to do do like that after all the ish you talked about diddy you want the same kind of funny style ish and um you know I, I had been you know in my commentary saying i thought it was some greaseball grimy ish and you know that mace just a a slick thief in my opinion you know what i mean past the collection play you heard but um fans were getting mad like oh you know you should you should do your research you should do it like Mace, this he um he addressed all this and it's like yo he went on million dollars worth the game talked some slick ish you know and uh did some fast talking and just tried to clean it up but to me it didn't make any sense i'm like damn man so many people are just so gullible someone says something and uh oh uh, it wasn't grimy because uh this this and that oh, okay that's right like nah man he was just on some fast talking slick you know snake oil salesman ish and um basically man uh ac academics got a hold of the actual contract and uh broke it down and man it was ugly it, it was a grimy contract he he beat fabio foreign in the head guys so just wanted to point that out I, I'll, I'll leave a video a link to ax video man where he breaks it all down like Mace on some grind ball ish. So for all the Mace fans that were whining, cut it out. And to close things out, what in the fuck is going on? Kanye West once again on some old weird ish on social media, man. After we heard the news of Pete Davidson and Kim breaking up, you know, a lot of us were like, it's only a matter of time till Ye's back with Kim. You know what I'm saying? And uh, comment and let me know what y'all think about that. And I'm sure a lot of people are rooting for them to get back together just, you know, because they have a family together and everything. You know what I mean? But we heard they broke up. Pete's in counseling and everything. And um, I don't know. It's not looking good for them to get back together because you see what Ye put on the gram talking about Kim always had the runs. You nasty, man. Like, the fuck is wrong with you? And you see Kim uh hit him up like yo why are you telling our personal business again you know like i don't know man kanye is just bugging like, what what do you guys think man it was uh kim telling him I i'm not ready to be back with you or whatever so he's like oh i'm gonna tell everyone you ished on yourself all the time like what the fuck and um i don't know man was kim got ibs who knows but uh yay dead wrong for this what, what do y'all think man jump in the comments but that's gonna conclude this one guys thanks for watching don't forget to sub up if you're new over here and stay tuned daily videos music news sports and more but uh hop in the comments i want to hear from all y'all on all these topics i'm about to hear guys peace